picking it out. High cotton probably is really special to you. Yes, it is. It it really is more autobiographical than any song I've ever had, certainly ever had released. I mean, those things happen. My we were picking cotton and uh, yeah, yeah, those things really happen. And Randy and Teddy, they grew up listening to the Beatles. Yeah. You know, yeah, picking cotton. Yeah. So it's special to them. That ended up, they were being produced by two producers, Barry Beckett and, um, shucks, I can't think of his name. Um, shoot, I can't remember his name. But anyhow, they both had that song and they both wanted to cut it on Alabama. And we, we kind of worked out a deal somehow where one let the other one have it. And that's kind of how that came about. And uh, I've got to tell you this story. You know, I, I've only had two times in my career where I've been asked to change lyric. And that on that song, Randy was so, so uh, aware of his audience. We had a we had a line in that song where it said uh, where it talks about leaving home was the hardest crop. Let me see. Oh, yeah. We had a more poetic line in in the course that said leaving home was the hardest crop we ever raised, Mm. which was referring to the crop of children. Mm -hmm. Okay. But Randy thought it was too cerebral. And so so he asked me to change it. And we changed it to uh, leaving home was the hardest thing we ever faced. Yeah, which was a very, very good change in that song. And it taught me something, man. Uh, when, when that happens, when an artist asks you to do something like that, the way to do it is you do it in a way that pleases them and it pleases yourself. So that way you don't lose any integrity of what you feel like belongs to the song. Yeah. And, and that I tell you, man, he helped us make that song better. Because it was much easier to grasp by the listener. And he, he knew his audience, man. He knew what to do. Oh, absolutely. 